Hello everyone, welcome to DCC NIT Agartala, myself Tejas and today I will be discussing the problem C1 from code forces round 8, 55 division 3. So the problem states that there is a deck of n cards, each of which is characterized by its power. There are two types of card, a hero card which has power equals to 0 and a bonus card which has a positive power. So if a card is a bonus card, you, we can put it on top of our bonus deck or discard and if the card is a hero card, then the power of the top card from your bonus deck is added to his power. After that, the hero is added to your army and the used bonus discards. Your task is to use such actions to gather an army with the maximum possible total power. Okay. So in this question, we will be using the priority queue data structure. Okay. So suppose we have our n equals to uh, 6 we have our priority queue uh, this priority queue will uh, return the maximum value the greatest value present in it okay and suppose uh, the power of our six cards are uh, 0 1 2 0 0 0 now in this case first we come across this card that is the our first card is zero that is it's a hero card and we'll check with the priority queue if the priority queue has some element then we'll be uh, getting the greatest out of them we'll be removing the greatest element from the priority queue and adding that element to our answer but in this case since the first element is a zero and we don't have anything in our priority priority queue then uh, we cannot add anything and we will be moving to the next index uh, next card the next card we have a 1 it's, it's a bonus card so we will be adding 1 then once again we will have a bonus card that is 2 so we will again add 2 to our priority queue then we once again come across a hero card with power 0 so we will uh, remove the greatest element from the priority queue ok so 2 will be removed and our answer uh, will become answer is uh, for now it's 2 then again we'll be having a 0 that is we'll, uh, we'll again come across a hero card and now once again we'll be uh, popping the popping or removing the greatest element from the priority queue in this case uh, this is 1 so we'll add a 1 then we'll once again come across a hero card that is card with power 0 and in this case we will see that our priority queue is empty so we cannot remove any element so our fi final answer will be 3 of one more example we can take Suppose uh, we have, okay. suppose in this case we have n equals to 5 and, and the power of our cards is 1, 2, 8, 0 and once again a 1 and this is our priority queue. So first of all we will be adding 1 to this queue, then we will add the 2, then we will add the 1, oh sorry 8, then we come across this 0 which is a hero card. So we will be uh, removing the greatest element from this priority queue, in this case this is 8. So our answer, we will add 8 to our answer, so currently our answer is 8, then again in the end I have a 1, so I will be adding this 1 to this priority queue but uh, the numbers end here so our final answer in this case will also be equals to 8 ok here is the code for the same uh, usually a normal priority queue will return the uh, smallest element but in this case since I have added this collections dot reverse order tag this will uh, reverse the array list and the array list will now return the greatest element and each time I am checking if I am getting 
or uh, if the power of our card is zero then and my priority queue is not empty then i'll be adding the greatest element this pq dot poll will uh, remove the greatest element uh, from the priority queue and even return it here and else that is if our card uh, is not a hero card that is it doesn't have power equals to zero then we'll be simply adding the card to our priority queue see if it works yes it does work and the same code uh, also works for this uh, question c2 this is hard version of this problem but it differs just uh, by the constraints okay, in problem c1 sorry in our problem C1, uh, the n, that is the number of cards, will be less than equals to 5000. And in C2, it will be less than equals to 2 into 10 to the power 5. But the same code works for both the questions. Thank you guys.